Hi folks, something's on my mind so I thought I'd better speak about it again, I've spoken about it before, but yeah, it was on my mind again so I thought okay, I haven't spoken about it for a while so okay. Praying for people is not about them, nobody needs you to pray for them. That's the reality. Nobody needs you to pray for them. A lot of people think that for somebody to receive healing, yeah, you know, like there was that, uh, there's that song, I can't remember what the song is called, a lovely song. Um, it's on that album. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, what's it called? 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 It's a brilliant song. Raise a hallelujah. There you go. Raise a hallelujah. A song where basically this child was in a serious condition in hospital. And they were praying for this child. And all these people were praying intercessory prayer for this child right believing that that was needed to save this child no it wasn't that song raise a hallelujah is possibly more important than the life of that child so it's more likely that that child had to get sick, seriously sick, for that song to be written. And it was more about that song being written than anything else. Because if God wants to save a child, he's not got this thing to say, okay, it's like, okay. A lot of people are saying right now that Chelsea are selling their young players and the people want to poll to say they shouldn't do it okay right so therefore okay god is saying to people if one hundred thousand people pray for this kid i will save him is god saying that no never 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 that is not what a loving father would ever say Right? What about 50,000? 50,000 people have to pray hard and continuously for a week and then this child will live. Is that what God is saying? No. No. When you pray for people, it's about you going to God and it's about you learning to be led to pray. If God wants to save that child, God has already got that on the agenda. There you go. That child is going to be saved at that specific time. He didn't need you to do that. God doesn't need you to do what God is going to do. And if God is not going to do it, it doesn't matter how many people ask you're never going to change his mind. This is adult thinking. It's not baby Christian thinking. This is adult thinking. When you tell young Christians to pray for people, it's not because those people need you to pray for them. It's because praying for those people is teaching you to go to God. And it's teaching you to be led how to pray and what to pray in certain situations and also listening to God listening to what he is saying to you you yeah, listen to the spirit listen to the father yeah learning it's about you learning and growing it's always about you but we have this bizarre understanding 
that for some reason, you know, God needs us. Mm. As I say, you know, that a certain amount of people have to pray for God to act. Yet never been the case. Never. It's like that point that if you pray and you fast and you'll get. Well, th th there is a principle that if you pray and you'll fast, you'll get. There is a spiritual principle to that. But that's not God giving. Your Heavenly Father is not sitting there with a brand new car for you saying, one more prayer, one more prayer, and I'll give it to you. Yeah, mo one more day of fasting and you'll get it. No, God, no. Never. Never. That's not a loving father. That's not the way a loving father does stuff. So there you go. You take care. God bless. Bye.